Good morning, everyone. Jill here with North Texas Vegetable Gardening, canning recipes, a little bit of everything. What you're about to see is very disturbing. I'm gonna show you in this first video, we have the Max C, Microso blah, blah, blah. Max C Microscope 2 to evaluate the insects that we're getting in our vegetable garden so we know how to treat them. So in the first video, you're gonna see uh, the effects of the Reclaim that Greg used yesterday on the crepe myrtles. Now again, you cannot use Reclaim on your vegetables and in your garden, but uh, let's check and see. I want you to pay close attention to the damage done on the leaf, and I want you to play, pay close attention to see if any of those aphids and insects are moving. Check this out. So we think that the reclaim did work on the crepe myrtles and we're hoping that uh, the dominion will kick in here, which is the systemic uh, aphid killer and insect killer. Um, and it's gonna take probably a week or two to start seeing if that's been effective. Now check out this second video. This is a leaf from one of my cucumber plants in the high tunnel. So, the cucumber plants yesterday were treated with insecticidal soap. You can see that there are still some aphids alive, but there were quite a few that were not moving. So now we're gonna show you uh, what it looks like after we treat it with some neem oil. So that was about 15 minutes after we treated it with neem oil and you saw that little booger trucking on through, but some of the others uh, seem to be uh, stagnant or dead and we're hoping that they are. So now we're gonna show you the effect of insecticidal soap. So this next leaf is off the same plant, has the same bugs on it, and we're gonna show you what it looks like now and then we're gonna show you the effects of insecticidal soap. All right, so you saw that little booger moving around. We're gonna treat them now with some insecticidal soap and see how long it takes to kill those two.
So the insecticidal soap seems to have worked within about two to three minutes. So now that we're all gonna have nightmares tonight, I'm gonna have nightmares tonight, you can see how the aphids work. You can see the destruction on the leaves. You can see all the various types of them, the different, uh, different kinds, different kinds of insects. Um, you can see how uh, neem oil affected them. You can see how the insecticidal soap affected them. And I'm pleased to see though, that quite a few of them were not moving and they were dead from the spraying that we did of the insecticidal soap yesterday. What I'm concerned about is uh, some of those that li lived through the neem oil application. So we're gonna have to do a little more tweaking, a little more investigating there. But um, as for me and my house right now, we're gonna use some insecticidal soap today on some of those cucumbers. But uh, pretty disgusting, isn't it? Pretty disgusting. But I wanted to share that with you guys so you could see what aphids will do to your crops, what they'll do to your trees, and uh, what decisions you can make for the best effective treatment. Just remember, you cannot use uh, the systemic and you cannot use uh, the dominium, which is the systemic, and you can't use the reclaim on your vegetables. Uh, you need to use something uh, like your insecticidal soap or your neem oil, but right now, guys, I'm leaning toward the insecticidal soap. So take care, God bless. I really do hope this helps you. Hit subscribe, um, pass this on to your friends because I know a lot of people are struggling with aphids right now and uh, we are going to win this battle. We'll talk to you later. Take care.